Yeah, yeah. Good morning from Bronze Van. Oh, a bit of a surprise this morning. Oh, crap. What happened? Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle all the freaking way. There's damn snow out there. How the hell did that happen? Um, it's a little bit warmer than what I thought, though. It was cool when I went to bed, but... Uh, waking up wasn't that bad. I didn't put heat on yet, so... No Mr. Buddy yet, but surprise, surprise. But it's melting already, so not worried. So there is quite a few train tracks here on Vancouver Island. However, no trains run here anymore. Uh, I'm not sure when trains stopped, but... Except for the one I went on, which is just a tour train in uh, Port Alberni. And I think it's only a 10 mile line or something, if even that. Okay, probably not the best time to be doing this. But I've been here for however months, four months. And I still haven't walked around Langford Lake. How about that? Oh my god. So I only got six or seven more sleeps left. So I better do this while I can, even if it is nighttime and uh, I'm losing light. It is quite a pretty setting, actually. Wow. Yeah, I should have came earlier. But I've actually been here before. Um, I went swimming here, and uh, yeah, very nice. A little on the chilly side, but yeah. And snow in the mountaintops. Oh yeah, walked around the corner and here it is. This is what I'm talking about. Yes. I should go fishing. Wonder if I can, uh... yeah, it's a little cold for that. Wow, it's actually a bigger lake than what I thought too. Stop and pan it around. Hello, lily pads. Yeah, you can't see me, but I can see you. Um, yeah, it's probably not the best idea to be hiking when it gets dark like this around, even though there's still lots of people in that. Um, Victoria and area is very prone to cougar attacks, not the girl cougars or women cougars. Uh, actual cougars. <laughs> um, yeah, this year there was a few uh, cougar sightings in people's yards in the city here. And I think one uh, sighting was they a uh, cougar drug, drogue a deer into the yard and feasted on this deer in somebody's yard, apparently. So, uh, I say hell with it. Let's go for a beer and watch some football. Can't see nothing anyway. Okay, and like I explained, Victorian news. What's it say? Dead deer in Eskimelt, which is close to me, just over maybe half a mile, one mile. Um, dead deer said to be killed by cougar um, was found late Friday night in the yard of her home. And the other one is. Ah, here, this one's better. Cougar killed after attacking BC woman in her home. Uh, they tracked down a cougar. I guess she was in her house and it wandered in and attacked her. Plus, there was also an incident back in July where uh, one cougar tracked a guy into a cave and he, the cougar attacked him in the cave. Um, that was about an hour away from here. And yeah, there wasn't much left of it in my, from my understanding. So probably not a good thing going out at night here in the bush. Okay, boys and girls, I'm a happy camper because um, 
Last week of work. Oh, I'm so excited. But I'm freaking tired out. It's morning and... Yeah, I got three more shifts left this week. So I'm pretty stoked. Which means five more sleeps, something like that, before I'm heading to Vancouver. So I'm going to have to insure the vehicle probably, yeah, tomorrow-ish. Okay, cheers, peace out. Okay, as I mentioned in the last video, sometimes it's a problem registering vehicles or slight problems. And sure enough, that happened. Uh, anyways, went to register, insure the vehicle, and... It wasn't filled out properly. Um, he didn't fully sign his name. Uh, printed out basically is what it was because it was registered in his business. So she corrected uh, that and I, ha I have to go back to him. So I went back today and then he's got me running around with his little pup here. So he gave me 10 bucks to drive him around and do drop off whatever. But it's just taking time out of my day to do other things. And I know he's wanting me to stick around because he hinted at it and about fishing and going on trips. And he's looking for a buddy. He doesn't have good friends, I think. And I feel bad for him. And I haven't told him I'm, I'm leaving <laughs> Victoria Island. But I'm still going to store my vehicle at his place. And uh, maybe I might offer to sell it to him later on at the end of the month and say you know what give me a thousand bucks for it and you can take it and then you can resell it if you want so if he thinks he can make money off it that might be in my benefit but for now yeah what else um hmm Okay, this is one of the projects he's got me doing. I've, I pulled off the brake controller for trailers and that. It's got a trailer hitch on it, but he's got an old Ford that they are selling, wants to get rid of, but they want to keep the controller, so, and that's the problem. I, it, I come up with all these odd jobs that he wants me to do and I just, I don't have the time. Oh my God. I, I feel, feel for the guy, but, but you know, I got things to do, oh my god. Like, I gotta put up the curtains. I took the curtains to the laundromat, so. Yeah, that's what we're doing, in the dark, cause nighttime's coming. <laughs> 